Good morning. <coughs> it is bright and early, 4 o'clock. My morning um, schedule. Yeah. Morning goat routine. Huh, Daisy Daisy. Today, we are going to attempt the, I think it's Mana Pro Positive Pellet Dewormer. Goat Dewormer. Um, we have kept these guys off of feed. We didn't do last night's, that's why I'm out here so early. We didn't do last, last night's dairy routine with Daisy. Um, we did notice with her that her hips were kind of protruding a little bit. When we fir first got her, if you guys remember some of the videos, she was really full everywhere. She just had babies. Um, two weeks when we got her, it would have been about, I think it was six weeks. We got her March 9th. And she had babies two weeks before that. And um, the lady that I purchased Daisy from said she had been dewormed. So I wanted to make sure that I gave it at least a month because she said she used ivermectin, which I've been doing my research. And hi, honey. She's like, hi. There's nothing wrong with ivermectin. It's uh, injectable. So you have to give it by shot, I believe. I haven't done my research a whole lot because John goes by pretty much everything that he, um, all the information he learns from his Amish friend and then he has another friend that has goats. The Amish friend is the one that suggested the pellets and the reason that I'm pretty excited about the pellets is because these guys do sweet feed really good, which is why I didn't milk last night. I didn't give them any treats last night so they're super hungry. I want to make sure they eat it. So the number one thing that we're going to do is we're going to make sure that everybody is separate um, so they all get their own little dose. Normally, you would only want to worm the goats that you know 100% have worms or are showing signs of worms. You don't want to deworm your entire herd is what I've learned from my research. Again, I'm not a vet. This is just my own personal experience. This is our very first time doing it. Um, so we're going off of that, I guess. <laughs> I'm just letting you guys know. This is exactly what we're doing. If it works, awesome. I hope it works for you. If it doesn't work, I'm going to have a dead goat on my hand. So it's kind of iffy, but try and see I guess um I have read some reviews we did give them pine as you can tell they ate the majority of that over probably a week and a half they do have access to balsam fir which is another great natural dewormer I'm pretty sure any kind of pine is a good dewormer um but obviously it's not if you see her hips protruding and you never want to go off of that alone I don't have very good light you want to go off of under their eyelids I don't know if you can see if she'll let me Louis might let we checked them all yesterday and they were pale not they were, they were still pink some pink to them but not red like when we got the girls so that's our first sign is that they need to be dewormed Daisy's eyelids. I'd say John said Louie's were the worst. They were the palest. But Louie's not really showing any signs. She's really filled out. Um, that's why we're going with the, the pellet form. And I'll show you what that looks like. If I can get it! Ah! Goats! Try to... No, get back. Daisy, quit. Sorry, guys. Um, this is the positive pellet goat dewormer that we're using. The bags suck. If you buy this, plan on taping it up because the bags do suck. But this is what we're doing today. Um, I did a lot of research on it last night. The directions aren't very clear. Um, it says feed positive pellet goat dewormer at the rate of one pound per hundred pounds. So with a pound. What's a pound of dewormer? Well, I couldn't find anything, so I ended up calling the company, and there's a 1-800 number on there, and she said, one pound is three cups. My goats obviously aren't 100 pounds. 
Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is if you guys have access to do a fecal count, please do that first. That way you know what you're treating. We don't have access to that as of right now. My goats aren't dead. They're not dying. They are very playful and loving. So that's why we're going with this route. Anyway, the lady said three cups is a pound. Daisy, John and I assume she's somewhere between 60 and 75 pounds. She's heavier than a 50 pound bag of dog food because I can lift that easily. She's hard for me to lift. So I'm gonna assume she's about 75 pounds. John said probably about 60. So we're gonna go with three quarters of what they recommend. Yeah. So we're doing that and then with the babies, we are going to do, I think we decided on a cup for the babies, which would be 30, 40 pounds, and they're very light. I can pick them up under my arm and carry them around very easily. So we're going to do a cup for the babies, and then I think that's what I just said. A cup for the babies, and then probably two cups for Daisy. And to monitor how much they're actually getting, I separated their, if you guys remember my routine, um, we do the babies over here. They're not babies, by the way. They're yearlings. We just call them babies because they're so much smaller than Daisy. Be nice. But that way Hazel can get hers and Louie's not stealing it all. I have La Hazel over here and I have Louie right here. And before you attempt to do this, I've trained my goats. So they will sit here on these leads with these little guys around their neck. And most people will say, well, that's not humane. My goats don't choke each other out. They're, I like to say they're trained. The lady that I got them from um, had tra least trained her daughter, least trained the goats, the two little ones, not Daisy. She, she has this harness on her, a dog collar. We don't use that because as soon as you pull on this sucker, she's... <laughs> She don't like it. That's just there for looks. In case she ever runs away, someone knows she belongs to someone, we're going to get her tags. But harnesses are a huge thing. Um, that's what we're going to invest in. But right now, obviously, we're in short supply. So make sure that they have water, a lot of water. Um, another thing that John's Amish friend told him is not to, come on, Daisy, not to put in... The probiotic. Don't give them probiotic with the pellet feed because something to do with the pellet feed being digestible and the, the, the probiotic's going to cancel it out. So if they are showing, I'm going to feed them this, if they're showing signs and they need the probiotic, I'll probably give that to them later tonight or as needed. Obviously, that's more important. So right now, I'm going to pause this and I'm going to measure out in different containers for each goat. And then I will do my milking routine. So you'll see. When they do get up on the stand, I am planning on giving them a little bit of sweet feed, probably a handful of sweet feed in each one of the containers to try to trick them. But you guys will see if that, how that goes. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, they are munching away. <clears throat> this is gonna be goat soap so not really concerned with I am concerned with as you can tell everything's gonna be the same but I don't have my sterilized metal bucket with me I'm just gonna put it right in a ball a jar so far so good guys let's see what happens So I ended up giving Daisy two cups, which would be the equivalent of um, 66 pounds. Um, gave Louie a cup and a quarter, and Hazel exactly one cup. I figure Hazel's about 33 pounds. My hands are 
cold. I don't usually do very well in the morning. That's when um, I have arthritis in my fingers. It's osteoarthritis from overuse. It's not extremely bad, but if I were to continue the work that I was doing, I would be pretty much paralyzed. My doctor told me that I should not be doing that kind of work. I was a wire puller where I was working, so I used to make um, aluminum wire, welding wire. And in October, I ended up quitting my job. You probably don't care about this, but now I'm a stay home goat mama. It is still extremely painful. I'm trying. It's working. The girls over there are staying put. They're eating their own. That was one of the things that um, I read online was really hard for people, separating their goats and making sure they all had what they were supposed to have. And obviously right now my girls have their exact dosage and the other goats can't. I'm so sorry. Are you done already? You big fatty? Daisy, is go hers is gone. So, and I'm not done milking. You wolf that down. I thought she would have a problem with it. So I'm going to go get her a little bit of sweet feed. Daisy's a good mix. snuck over and got Louie's food. Turd. I don't think she got very much. I'll look at the tape and see. Hazel is not touching hers. Louie's is almost gone. I mixed a little bit of sweet feed in theirs. And Hazel's like not having it. I don't know how much of her she got. I'll check in a minute. I'll show you guys. I didn't mix any um, sweet feed into Daisy's warmer just because I know she's an overeater and she'll eat anything you put in front of her. It's a treat. Um, Hazel's and Louie's I mixed, I would say, a small handful of sweet feed just to try to trick them. Hazel's not really, the, she's the little white one. She's not really um, a huge eater to begin with. She's eating it though. Now she is. I just have to watch Daisy because she's the only one I don't chain up. She's not leash trained, so she will choke herself out. When I give Daisy treats for the stand. I do about three quarters of a cup of sweet feed, the goat sweet feed, I think it's due more. And then a small handful of corn and a small handful of sunflower seeds and just mix that together. Um, as far as the dewormer goes, there are some natural dewormers I haven't really looked into. I've had my hands on this stuff. That's what John bought when we first got the goats. So that's what we're using today. I don't have access to um, a fecal sample. I don't have a microscope for one and for two. That costs money, even if it's $15. That's $15 I just don't have today. So 
We're going to try this. Obviously, if my goats needed a vet, I would get them to a vet. You guys know this, but this is just something we're going to try. They haven't... Um, the lady that I got Daisy from said she was wormed right after she had her babies. Holy cow, goat! I'm going to have to milk her out there. This is going for soap. Usually I would have an ice bath for the milk, but I think, and that's the other thing about this, um, sorry, this pellet warmer, is it says that you can, you don't have to discard the milk when you deworm them, but medicine is medicine, so. Then we gotta watch this girl. Louie's already eaten all of hers. Hazel picked through hers. So she didn't get. She literally is picking through. She might. I'm going to pause it and see if I can get this little goat to eat this. So, Daisy's a bully. And Hazel is the weakest link. So, of course, she is going to try to get her food. I put Hazel over in the chicken coop. And now that Hazel knows... I put Daisy over in the chicken coop, and now that Daisy knows that everybody else wants her food, I think she's okay with eating it now. Because she's going to town on it. And she got out. Daisy got out. I was wondering what those heavy footprints were. Now, oh, see, headbutting. No. Come here, Hazel. You're okay. You be nice. No. She will. She'll hide butter. She's just not, not nice. She's mean to Hazel. Louie's food is gone. So she can, Daisy can be over there trying to steal Louie's food all she wants. But I'm holding Hazel's food in my hand, the wormer, and Hazel's eating it. So. And I'm just going to guard her so she don't get... I think that's the biggest challenge. I think that's why people don't like this stuff as much. I've done a lot of research on it. There's a lot of people that say it works amazing, and then there's other people that say there's no real way to tell. Um, goats aren't getting adequate amounts. And I'm assuming as long as you make sure that they're getting their dose. And I gave Hazel's hers, like she's a 33 pound goat, and she, I want to say she's probably 25 pounds. She's pretty small. Probably should have. I was thinking if I got my scale and I weighed myself and then zeroed it out and then picked her up, that would be the best way to tell what her actual weight was. But at this rate, we're just going to see if this works for us. If it works for us, great. If it doesn't, we're going to have to get some chemical dewormer. Um, a lot of people say, I've read a lot of reviews, the ivermectin I think is the best, but the others, um, there's one, a lot of people out there say that it has to be, that the injectables don't work as well as the kind they eat. I'm sorry, it's four o'clock in the morning. My aspect of it is the ivermectin, to my understanding, is it also works for external parasites, so lice and mites, which I don't really have that problem right now. That's why we're going with the pellets, that, and I have access to the pellets right now. You are taking forever, little girl. She doesn't eat a whole lot. She's the weakest link of the bunch, so she kind of lets everybody else boss her around. She's by far the cutest, though. She's my little white girl, aren't you? She's got brown spots, and she is so sweet. She is the one that's by far the best least trained goat that I have. Leash trained. 
So far, so good, guys. We'll see how they... I wanted to do this first thing in the morning on an empty stomach because I wanted to make sure that they weren't full. They had access to their hay, but I haven't given them, given them any treats of any sort last night. The last treats they had were 10 o'clock yesterday morning. So, in the pellet form is awesome for us because that's their sweet feed is pellet form. So, it's kind of like, ha ha, I tricked you. Mm -mm. -uh. Until they find out. Then they're mad at you, like sweet hazel here. I did put a little bit of sweet feed in with, hi Daisy, in with the warmer. And she pretty much ate all of hers, what the chickens didn't. I set, when I was taking Daisy over there, I was putting her in the chicken coop and some of the chickens got out. And when I finally got Daisy in there, I shut the door and I looked down and I had three chickens pecking. <laughs> so... But this stuff, you're not supposed to have to discard milk, which the um, dolings, the two little ones, don't have milk yet. But Daisy does. You're not supposed to have to discard your milk, but I think we might just use it for soap. It's not discarding yet. But I really don't know about feeding it to my four-year-old. You got a little bit left. She's picking it. She's being very picky. So this is what we have left out of that big bunch. So I think she did pretty good. Next time I will remember that and I'll probably give her the same dose that I gave Louie for the simple fact that she actually didn't eat a lot of this. Chickens got it. Daisy got a little bit of it, but not much. Let's see. And it's, she's got like four pellets left in there. So I'm happy with that. I will update you guys later today how all of that goes for us. Um, like I said, there's a lot of YouTube videos out there, people checking their goat eyelids, the bottom of the eyelids. You just pull the eyelid down. If it's like a pale pink, you probably should worm. They should be either red or like a hot pink color. A dark pink color would be best. Sorry about that light. So that's how I knew my goats knew, needed it. Um, it takes two people to check eyelids to these guys. I got a little bit of sun yesterday. <laughs> so I will let you guys know how that works out. So, so far so good. See you later.